Good day. You're welcome to Lens Africa TV News. I am Onofiok Andy. The Police Officers Mess, Ikeja GRA Lagos State Command, held its monthly meeting of Field and Strategic Officers, which was organized to commemorate this theme for the month captioned Operation Flash. The meeting was chaired by the Commissioner of Police, Lagos State, Mr. Ido Owahua who commended members of the press for their partnership and concise reportage of the crime-fighting activities of the police force. He further stated that public space needed to be cleared of criminal elements who have been obstructing the peace and security of the state. Um, good morning, gentlemen of the press. And once again, I thank you for giving uh, the Lagos State Police Command another opportunity to reach out to negotiations on our activities. Today marks exactly a month that we launched Operation Flush, which was designed to reclaim the public space from criminal elements that emerged at some point to threaten the internal security order in Lagos State. Today presents an opportunity to give you and negotiants a brief on major breakthroughs we have uh, recorded on occasion of the launch of Operation Flush in Lagos State. Within the past two weeks, following the last uh, briefing that uh, was rendered by the PRO, in the course of this operation, we have recovered an additional total of 18 firearms of various descriptions, including two AK-47 rifles, one locally fabricated, and one very unique, I'm saying this with emphasis, that is a form of weapon that has never been found in the armory of the criminals in this country, it was also recovered. 15 cartridges, 4 expended cartridges, about 30 live ammunition of various caliber, 6 machets, 34 bags of wheat suspected to be Indian hemp, and 2 bags, Ghana must go bags, containing fake US dollars and pound uh, sterling notes, 2 award plaques from Bukania Fraternity, 1 Bukania banner, some security items, six cakes of fake total engine oil, which again points to the fact that there's a syndicate that is a adulterating engine oil within Lagos. That syndicate has also been cracked. In the specifics, it will be recalled that on 3rd August 2023, there was a robbery incident around the airport hotel, opposite to airport hotel uh, Ikeja, in the course of which a police, uh, a policeman was killed and his rifle was snatched by the armed robbers and the vehicle also snatched. In the course of our operation, I can report that we have successfully arrested the suspect behind the armed robbery attack we have recovered the police weapon that was snatched, and we have also recovered the vehicle that was snatched on that, on that day. He emphasized the need for their meeting to include upscaling patterns for protection of the citizens as the Emberman's approaches, create functional community policing partnership, dissect the gap in holes of crime dynamics, and map out measures to sustain strategic and effective police service delivery. He commended the entire police formation for their prompt response, commitment and loyalty to duty, expatiating that he and them were gallant mates in crime fighting, and stated that out of the lots recommended for awards, it was painstaking in the ability to prune it down to two inspectors, namely Osaze Owendi Filomena, a traffic officer for consistency and dedication to duty, and also Bello Adeniyi, for his effective coordination of officers and field work with so much dexterity and expertise. And that's the news on Lens 
Africa TV. I'm Onofiok Andy. Bye for now. Lens Africa Television, the mirror of the continent.